Hello, constant viewers. Welcome to Eyes Opening FS. I'm Ezra. In this video, I'll be breaking it down from our technical and fundamental to try to understand where we have our next impulsive move in this. So, so I suggest you stick to the video to the very end. All right. So, looking at USD GPY right here, you see how market has been giving us a cool bullish move and structure formation to the upside on weekly and daily time frame but looking at this monthly time frame which we already know that monthly control weekly weekly control daily daily control hourly time frame hourly control what minutes time frame minutes control seconds time frame this is how structures work and this is how market works all right so now in doing so and understanding how market works so we see market trading into our poi right here so as market has already traded into our POI right here, which were marked from our previous outlook on this particular pair. So since market has already traded into that uh, POI, we said we have a break of structure to the upside right here. All right. So after that, on weekly time frame, we see some bullish move right here. As market was creating a higher, higher, higher low. And we call this buy move. You can check out our previous post on this outlook. We call this sweet buy move to the upside so you can check it out so you understand the reason why we said we look for buy to the upside from here mm -hmm. all right so after that buy move we, we have a new higher high a higher low a new higher high to the upside so from our previous outlook that is the recent one we had we talked about this cell around this area talk about this cell after the cell i talk about a little uh early time frame buy slash intraday time frame so i talk about that and now let's go to weekly and say um daily and see what market is actually doing now on this daily time frame i call this buy right here and market gives us this buy sweet buy to the upside so with that hidden base that was around this area market used to give us what a sweet buy to the upside so after the sweet buy which we had here Which we had around this area, market uses to give us what a sweet buy to the upside. So at the moment, market is still bullish, but market has already traded into this what SC right here for what a bearish move to the downside. So since it has already traded into this SC, what do we seek for market to do around this time frame? We seek for more short term bearish trend, at least to trade into this range, All right? But at this area, we will what see. A little bullish move into this range if possible then if possible if market give us any reversal around this area we look for sell into this range again to this range low all right so this is our possible our next possible movement if this low is taken down we expect what another what expansion into this major range for what a retracement into this range before another what drop move into this range again so this is our view on this so on this time frame since market has already traded into monthly pui intent has not been given and confirmation has not been given other flow is still to the bullish side so what do we do we stick to that bullish move but at the moment on this lower time frame we are seeing a momentum shift to the downside right so since we are having this momentum shift so we trade a short-term bearish trend on this early time frame which trade what a short-term bearish trend to the downside on this hourly time frame so that is our view on this usd jpy so looking at fundamental so looking at fundamental based on 13 weeks uh previous data and the recent chart you will use it to what compare both so on the long position there are what from this last week and this uh last two weeks chart or data we can see that there's what a decrease in long position now based on their what their net position which is this you see that they are what also decreasing the long position the same thing here based on their what their net position which is the average based on 15 weeks they are also what decreasing short position but based on this what uh previous week the increase uh uh there's what there was what a decrease in their what in their position based on just last week but comparing based on quote data analysis which is 13 weeks so you will understand that 
their average, which is this, which we actually see here, and this present price, they are what increasing in short position. That is their what average. The same thing here, decrease in long position based on that percentage and all. Then their overall net position right here, which is the date and this one. This actually shows that this what they are reducing the long position. So which is supporting the bearish move we are having, we are expecting for this very week on this pair. The same thing with the uh, GPY right here. You see they are what decreasing their long position also. Increasing their what short position based on their net data. That is uh, their average position. You will see it right here and here. So their net position, which is overall position, you will understand that they are, what, they are adding short position. Right? They are adding short position. So actually, this is actually telling you that the pair can be what in consolidation at the moment, which is what we are actually having. So, but very soon we'll be expecting an expansion either to the downside or to the upside. So, based on our analysis, we'll be expecting what an expansion to the downside. So, that is all for today's outlook. You can check up uh, on our Telegram group here yeah, how we actually took some sweet trade and uh, uh, it picks for the understanding of the trade I took. Also, on our Instagram to understand more about what we are actually doing in these eyes opening efforts. So stick to the videos uh, that I'll be posting here so that you understand more about most of the pair that we have been trading and uh, based on what our quote data understanding. So that is all for today's outlook. So see you guys in our next outlook. Good luck. Good trading.